everybody, welcome back to Gustav's Thrift Halls. Um, if you hear any like bangings in the background, it's because they are renovating my neighbor's house. So you might hear some bangs throughout this video. Uh, however, I will be showing you some good stuff I've been getting lately. Um, I haven't done a video for a while because yeah, there hasn't been too much, too many. Um, uh, flea markets and uh, good finds but um, I will show you what I've got recently and uh, it's gonna be a mix of uh, of everything actually um, <laughs> a lot of odd stuff but that holds quite good value so here we go um, <clears throat> this is a fishing rod from Abu Svengsta. It's a Swedish uh, fishing ro uh, roll uh, um, made in the 60s I think and um, the th why I bought this is because I found one of these new in the box. Um, when was it? Uh, last autumn and I sold that one for like uh, five or six hundred dollars. It was amazing. Uh, so I bought this one. This one is isn't in as good as condition, but I bought it for the twenty-five crowns with an extra spool, uh, so you can have like two different kind of uh, of lines thickness. Um, I see that the used ones on eBay go for like maybe 150 200 dollars so I hope I will get some uh, that kind of money I've cleaned it up a bit there was a lot of goo and stuff uh, looks pretty decent it looks okay you know uh, so that's that uh, let's see what I can show you next I got some <laughs> old cassettes uh, cassettes seems to be the new thing uh, this one is actually Iron Maiden's first album I believe Killers and it was printed in Sweden um, as you can see there it says made in Sweden uh, so that's pretty cool I hope it will bring a little bit of money I, I paid like um, two bucks for these four cassettes it's Ozzy Osbourne uh, what does it say? Blizzard of Oz. And this is a tape for a video game called Maximum Carnage. Uh, and um, the artist is Green Jelly. He only has two tracks. They go for like 20 bucks on eBay. Uh, this is Napalm Death, Utopia Banished. Uh, some kind of um, gore or speed, uh, no, not speed metal, but you know, like super fast uh, grind metal. Uh, yeah, so I hope I will get some a bit, little bit of money for that. Uh, this is a Swedish traditional or like Nor Nordic. Let's see if we can focus, please. Thank you. Hello. There you go. Uh, this is, um, it's called Ten in Swedish, uh, some kind of uh, metal, and uh, as you can see it's very finely made uh, on the leather strap, and I believe this is more for like a woman, because I can't really get it onto my big fat wrists. Um, they go new for like 400 crowns, which is about 45 dollars. Uh, should be a, be able to get you know maybe half of that because it's used, but it's nice big one. They are a bit more ex exclusive the big ones, the thick ones. The normal size is about maybe half of this size. Uh, yep. Yeah. Here's an old book I found uh, this Sunday I believe no Saturday. It's a Swedish old school book uh, from the early 1800s, 1813. Um, it's about, you know, 
everything that the kid has to know. It's uh, mixed history with um, science, with a little bit of everything. Um, as you can see, it's been eaten by some bookworms. Uh, but I talked to a guy actually uh, at the flea market and he, he was like an expert on books. And he said, oh, that's, that's a pretty valuable one. You, you got a good find there. Uh, I checked online and they're about, you know, like 200 crowns. I paid 20 crowns. I paid like two, two, three bucks for it. I should be able to get about 25 bucks, something like that. That's a nice little book. Uh, next up is a is a set of tarot cards. Uh, you know this new age occultist uh, stuff. It's called a tin of tarot, 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 and it was complete. I checked it. It has the book and the um, the the deck of cards. 78 cards. I should be able to get about 200 crowns, 25 bucks, something like that. Uh, next up is something I haven't bought before, but I've seen that they are quite popular because, you know, you can't really get CD players anymore. And this was in very good condition with a lot of um, accessories. I paid 7 bucks for it and it's in really good condition. You have like the um, remote control, you can, you know, skip the next track, you can adjust the volume, you can pause, you can stop. It has a rechargeable battery, it has the AC adapter, um, it has everything. So, and you see the, the sticker is still on the player here. So that's good. Uh, I hope to get about 50 bucks maybe for it. Something like that. Uh, Uh, continuing on the um, on the line of uh, <laughs> no pun intended on the fishing uh, stuff, this is a bunch of old flies. Oops, sorry, it's upside down. Uh, fishing flies, uh, you know, for fly fishing, and uh, some seem to be American, like industrial made or whatever. Some some are um, handmade. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I got it all for like 12 bucks. I hope to at least double or triple my money. Uh, there are maybe like a uh, hundred. This one has a lot of small ones. A hundred uh, flies or something. You know, who knows how much I can get. It was a bit of a gamble. I haven't bought the uh, fishing, fly, uh, fishing flies before. So we will see how that goes. Uh, here's a pair of, a bit dirty or dusty, uh, of Bosch and Lohm um, spectacles or glasses. Hello focus please. Um, and I don't know, they're, they're, I like the frames. The glass is a bit, you know, weird or something, but um, the frames are pretty cool. Um, and it's here it says B and L. So that should be Bosch and Lom, which is a good company. They made the uh, early Ray Bans, uh, etc. So I don't know, I paid two bucks, I think, for these. I have no idea how much I could get for these, but it's a gamble, and uh, we'll see. Um, here's. Oops. Here's like two Louis Vuitton boxes I got for 10 crowns each. Um, people like these boxes because they're very, very well made and it has, I don't know, maybe it, it was for like a, uh, uh, like a, how do you say, a pocketbook or something, you know. Uh, and it has a dust uh, jacket inside. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like super well made. It's it's perfect, you know, perfect fit, and the quality is enormous, even for like a, a small um, 
a small um, uh, paper box like this very good quality um, they go for like a couple of hundred crowns you know like uh, 10 to 40 bucks maybe just the boxes it's weird I know uh, then again this one I bought from the guy who I bought the, the CD player from and it's um, new in the box Polaroid camera and it also came with a double pack of film I mean the film is probably too old to use because it, uh, the stamp on the side it says 96 April 96 so it's like uh, yeah 20 years old now so it probably doesn't work but um, the camera I've tested it it works perfectly uh, I'm gonna ask uh, 100 bucks for it because that's what they go for double that if you buy them new uh, from Impossible Project uh, so this should be an easy flip and also it had um, a little brochure but this this is SX, SX70 and that film doesn't go for that one so I don't know why it was in that in that box <clears throat> just a small pamphlet in Swedish over how it works pretty cool 70s style you know uh, here are two <clears throat> they're Disney mugs uh, with Winnie the Pooh like two different motifs and it has some quotes on the side, on the other side. I'd made up a little basket, just a little fair sized basket. Uh, we will build an iron house with sticks at poo corner. And on the bottom you can see we need a poo. Royal Dalton iron house, Disney. Um, I don't know what they go for these but you know maybe it's uh, I think I paid this I bought at the, at the thrift store actually going to today my favorite one in Stockholm Myrna and uh, I paid uh, eight bucks for the two mugs um, I hope to get maybe like 30 bucks at least we'll see I usually don't buy ceramics and uh, you know uh, kitchenware and stuff but Winnie the Pooh and Disney why not here's a big ass watch I got it's a swatch uh, it's let's see if I can put it on it's actually huge it's 48 millimeters wide just the dial and um, let's see Ooh. I don't know for me it's too big I like more like 38 maybe um, even if I have quite large wrists uh, let's see oops sorry um, this is just too big it's it's vulgar almost but I paid um, 50 crowns which is like six bucks um, and I popped in a new battery and it works fine and uh, they go on eBay for like 100 bucks or something um, maybe a little bit less 80 bucks we'll see uh, I haven't put it online yet I put it up on a local like watch forum uh, here in Sweden and uh, it hasn't sold yet so we'll see maybe people don't like it either because it's too big <laughs> it's too huge all right let's speed it up a bit um, by the same person I bought the, um, the swatch watch I bought this little old woman's or like grandma's pocket watch and what I didn't know at first is that it's actually in 14 karat gold uh, if you open up the back here, let's see, there are some stamps, uh, you probably can't see them on the video, 
but whatever it says uh, 14k and then there's the the Swiss hallmark for 14 karat gold which is a little squirrel and there's a logo down there uh, let's see if I can focus on that little logo maybe yeah you'll have to trust me on that one it's a small like a, a balloon with wings under it and that's the the hallmark for a Swiss a Swiss um, um, uh, manufacturer uh, from the late 1800s uh, which is called uh, Clemence et Frères uh, so it's like a family company and uh, yeah it's uh, I, I checked it out online a little bit talked to some like experts they said this is top-notch quality uh, you should be able to get about uh, 250 300 euros which is about the same in dollars um, to the right collector so uh, yeah uh, I just think it's very beautiful and um, I've been uh, keeping it, uh, not really wanting it, wanting to sell it, but yeah, of course I have to sell it sooner or later. It's a small, pretty small watch. It's uh, three centimeters wide, the dial. So it's uh, yeah, you know, woman's pocket watch. Uh, here's another small watch. Nothing too fancy, but I got it for like two bucks or something. See if I can focus a little bit better. Hello. Yeah, uh, it's a Belinda. I don't know. I like the color the, on the dial there. The faded uh, black to blue with a red uh, second hand. Uh, it does work. Uh, it's a small one. I don't know. Maybe it was like three centimeters also slightly less 28 millimeters a woman's watch I don't know maybe I should get like a hundred crowns 10 12 bucks uh, <clears throat> here's a a Casio quartz watch nothing too fancy but pretty cool looking like 80s 90s style um, I haven't tried it out yet but uh, you know, has a nice leather strap. I don't think it's worth a lot, but I paid uh, two, two, three bucks, and it maybe it's worth ten times that, twenty, thirty bucks. Who knows? And here's another watch. This is actually an Omega. Omega Sea Monster. Um, with a caliber 267 however the back is missing and it seemed pretty you know used or corroded or whatever uh, so what I was thinking is I might sell it for parts um, because usually when you like par part it up uh, you get more because this looks terrible with a big crack in the glass here so if I sell the dial separately, the hands separately, maybe the movement here, uh, the casing, whatever, you get more. So I'm going to butcher it up. Okay, so let's go to some more modern electronic stuff. Here's a Sega Game Gear that I got for 12 bucks. And here you can see the original price which is 1200 crowns uh, with you know like 130 bucks and this was in the early 90s so it's worth a lot more of course um, I paid like 12 bucks and it has four games no five games I think yeah five games and um, also like a car uh, adapter you know for where you 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 have the the cigarette lighter thing so you can plug it in the in the car and play so it's in the box also with manuals and everything so that's pretty cool 
I hope to get maybe like five, six hundred crowns, maybe like sixty, seventy bucks. <coughs> so here I got some Tetris Game Boy games. I got Golf. I've got Motocross Maniacs. I've got Blades of Steel hockey game and a tennis. Pretty classic, uh, basic Game Boy games. Um, I should be able to get like four or five bucks each on these. Um, uh, I paid. I paid like one and a half dollar for this plus this pouch where you put your Game Boy in here in the big in the big uh, compartment here and you even have uh, room for two games here and two games here so that's a pretty sweet uh, little um, pouch for your Game Boy and here's the Game Boy itself classic old Game Boy uh, my friend had uh, one when, when we were kids I didn't I love playing his little Game Boy. He had got it. He was half Japanese, so he got it. Uh, his his dad got it for him, you know, for Christmas or something. Uh, in the yeah, what was it? Uh, mid eighties, somewhere something. Uh, so I, we played it till we were you know blue in the face. That was super fun, uh, and actually. <laughs> One of my favorite games is Tetris. It's really fun. Um, uh, I know it's quite boring, but it, it's still a good game. Um, and also, I, I really loved uh, Super Mario Land. And um, what was the other one called? Uh, yeah, there were some really good games on this. Simple, but good. And also, it came with um, like a battery pack power adapter so you don't need batteries if you're at home you can just use this and play with it so here's probably the best find I did this weekend uh, this past weekend this is my first uh, flea market Leica find this isn't like the one of the best Leicas however uh, it had the really good oops the summer crown 40 2.0 lens on it and I paid uh, 1100 crowns which is let's say hundred and twenty dollars right just the lens you can get easily like three four hundred dollars for just the lens the body itself is, uh, yeah, it's in okay condition, but as you can see, the viewfinder is cracked here. Uh, however, when you look through the viewfinder, you don't see the cracks in the window. It's completely not there, so it doesn't really obstruct the, the viewing. Um, yeah, so just the body is like uh, 150 crown uh, dollars maybe and the lens 3-400 so that's a pretty sweet deal and uh, that's strange because that's that that's a guy that usually sells at the flea market and he knows a lot about cameras and uh, because he always has pretty good cameras you know uh, at uh, on his uh, table there so I don't really understand how he could sell it so cheaply uh, however I don't care I just bought it from him and that's it so I don't think I have anything more to show you right now uh, thanks for watching uh, remember to like and subscribe if you have any questions just post them in the comments and I will try to answer them as soon as possible cheerio